this is actually the blood pump in action with blood tubing going on both ends as such and what is interesting is the fact that it's running exactly at 200 cc's a minute which gives it about 17 revolutions per minute this is the blood pump that is going to need to be removed there's a screw right here and there's another screw right here so these screws when they are removed this module will come out like a book but will be attached to elements that will be attached from the back and I will show you how it is attached now the screws have been removed you can see how it comes out and it's on the side you can hold it and pull it out and be cautious because on the back of it is where the electricity attaches to the pump there are two ribbon cables in the back that need to be pulled here is one and one is underneath it on the other side right here is the second ribbon cable so these can click and removed as such that's one and this one can be removed as well so now the, the whole uh, pump is actually ready to be removed this is the side view of a blood pump module that has multiple elements the most important element that we need to see is the motor and that motor runs with uh, two wires and these are the two essential wires that can be utilized to activate the motor this is the tachometer and that's attached to a uh, also a set of cables that take it to the sensor as well so in the back this is the motor that needs to stay this engine will control the size of the tubing and also can be removed with screws from here in the back there are two boards this is the first board right here and that board is attached to the frame by two clips one clip here and one clip down in this area and actually you can see it from here from below that's the second clip and using those clips you can pull that board from here and you hold it and pull it out once you pull it out there are a lot of gadgets that are attached here none of it is needed to the function of this motor and the pump the second board also can be removed which is this board in the back that has one screw here and one screw inside and that board also is not needed for any function for the motor to function for our purpose for to isolate the pump for CVVH last but not least is this stem right here which is a pressure sensor right here that has an end right here that can be removed as well it's got screws and then this area can be used to place a resistor that you can utilize to change the pump speed and right here is the sensor that also can be removed because it has nothing no function for the pump so you unscrew it and remove it the only wire that is needed and left is this set of wire which is actually a grounding wire for uh, the pump and on the back of it there are two wires that support the electrical outlet and the side port where the speed control is also can be removed so it will strip the pump to the bare minimum ground 
and two wires and the rest can be removed including a small ribbon that can be cut with a scissor or with a sharp knife. This is the final step of converting CAVHF to CVVHF. Basically this blood pump works on uh, a variable voltage which is mainly DC ranges between 9 volts you can use a 9 volt battery even up to 60 volts this pump has been taken out of a conventional Fresenius dialysis machine and converted into a pump that can be utilized for C V V H F so you really would no longer depend on the blood pressure to really propel the blood from the body into the filter and back into the body. Now this piece right here it's actually an addition where it is a resistor that can really work in a way where as we twist it we can reduce the resistance and the pump speed will really excel and you can get that at Radio Shack for three dollars and this is the back of the pump where you can utilize the connection as such right here and these are the connections where you can connect the resistor there used to be a ribbon right here that can be cut there is no need for it this is the motor that has been connected and it's down to bare minimum